Hey guys, um, to, in this video we'll be doing a review on the Ascend Aeronautics ASC 2500 HD video drone. So we'll just be doing a general overview on the physical properties of this drone here. And we're going to be doing a review on this remote and some special features that come with it. So anyways, welcome to the Undefined Gang. specifically on the drone first so yeah um so yeah so some of the features on this drone are the camera and the special thing about this camera is compared to other drones usually like on um, this camera will actually be able to tilt like straight downwards as you can see here but also um like straight forward so also you like, you could just point it like in between so yeah like that so that <laughs> helps um the user with uh, like um, in showcasing many different like many perspectives sort of yeah like uh, it can be used for multiple purposes when yeah. trying to capture something so um, the uh, next feature is like it's really poor it's like really small and it's really portable like you can fold the wings and it becomes this little tiny bomb like shape it's really lightweight too weighing, yeah, it's in, at really light. weighing in at about 187 grams it's, it's really super light. light and efficient it's even smaller than the remote when you like put like here in canada like, the um the weight limit for a a drone um is 250 grams anything past 250 grams you would need to get a drone license for so this drone is perfect for beginners and um uh Basically anyone who wants yeah. to have a little fun. The battery also is very long lasting. Like you, the battery lost, lasts pretty long. So uh, about a half an hour. This is a seven point two two watt hour um, lithium ion uh, battery. So it uh, it's three point eight volts and nineteen hundred milliamp hours. Yeah. So this will last a very long time. It's a great battery. For us, whenever we uh, use it. It works like around like 30, 40, like 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, so it's Easy. amazing. Yeah. Um, also, another thing about this drone is I like how it has a lot of lights around here as well. Yeah, so I, it just looks really cool in the, the dark. Like even like at the front, yeah. there's these two lights. Like they look like eyes in the dark. Yeah, it so they have like cool. red lights at the back and yeah. just bright white lights at the front. It's really cool. Yep. And it has like padding all around the bottom as well. So It also has these like... Um, Things that stick out at the bottom. Yeah. Like for, so on one side, so like it, it can land easily. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now we'll be doing a review on the remote and some of the other things you need to um you you need to operate the drone, such as the micro SD card here, which is a SanDisk two hundred fifty six megabyte micro SD card. By the way, we are not sponsored by SanDisk or uh or uh, Ascend Aeronautics whatsoever. We are just doing a review yeah. on this. Okay, so basically this drone, uh, this drone's um, remote has the normal features, the power button and the takeoff and land button. And here's the two joysticks, one for altitude and one for uh, longitude. And um, yeah, so uh, also it has like a speed button here. So there's like three modes of speed. One is just regular, like how anyone would operate the drone, but also um, there's like a higher level where it's sort of more responsive, the drone accelerates yeah. faster, and it also helps for the drone to cope in high wind conditions. Yeah, when it's like a windy day, if you want to use a drone, it really helps. Yeah. Also, one thing, uh, sorry, there's also another level of speed as well, which is, I guess, it's just used for more extreme conditions. Yeah. And also, um, it's also used for doing flips. Like, apparently in this drone, you can't um, do like a flip Without normally. Without speed on. You have to have uh, like... I think I think it's like the second level speed. Yeah, yeah at least have, level two. And or else you can't flip the drone. I guess probably it's just because it doesn't have you the acceleration. Like, you yeah, need. you need a lot of acceleration just to get the flip. Yeah. So um, speaking of flips, there's also of course this flip button here. Yeah. Which is um so for, to operate it, you just press that, and then with this controller, with the, alti the uh, altitude one. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, the longitude one actually. Oh. Um. Yeah. The oh, longitude one. Was and so you use that to um, control the direction. So you can either flip left or right. Okay. So yeah, that is the controller. There's also some extra uh, buttons for more features. Like 
different tricks. Probably and, like calibration, maybe. Yes. Also, um, like some of them uh, are for like the camera pin settings and stuff. Yeah. So uh, those are more advanced features. We won't, we won't be really getting into those in this video. Yeah. We're just doing like like the General. basic ones, like just how you how to operate this drone. Yeah. Also, another thing about this um remote control is that. The weird thing is, um, it uses four AAA batteries. Yeah. The only thing is there's like um, two different uh, sort of, how to say, like uh, covers at the back. So you have yeah. to unscrew those and it's really a pain to unscrew both. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah, because um, like when, when you first unbox the remote control, they actually put like a plastic washer behind the screw. You have mm -hmm. to really pull it out and it's yeah. really hard to do. Yeah. It's really hard to... Um, Put them the AAA like, batteries. They could have just put like them here, but I guess they maybe they had the reason, or it just looks cool this way. Yeah, I guess they wanted to have make it have like a slim fit. Yep. Sort of, so it's more easy to control. Okay, so one last feature for this remote is that it comes with this snap-on uh thing for like attaching your phone to it. So you could just uh, like extend this, so you could just snap on your phone, and you could like watch like you can see what your drone is watching through the camera. Yeah, so like as you're controlling it, it's just really convenient instead yeah. of looking at the phone somewhere else. If you're if you're like at high, a real, like high altitudes, it looks really cool just looking at like the scenery and everything. Yeah. Really um. Cool. Yeah. So that's just one extra thing I forgot to do, but uh, yeah. So otherwise than that, uh, those are all the features of the drone and the remote. Yeah. Okay, guys. So um. The final thing we have to cover in this video is the micro yeah. SD card. So um so for when you want to record videos with this drone, what we will do is usually what one would do what is um they would use a micro SD card. So this is a uh, I think I covered this before, a sand disk 250 megabyte um micro SD card. Not sponsored by the way as well. Um this isn't I know this isn't really like uh the most uh how to say like this isn't a micro SD card with the most storage out there. There's like yeah. even like pot, like uh better ones. There's better ones out there. There's like uh it. even like micro SD cards you could get with like a couple of terabytes of storage, which is a lot. Yeah. So um I get I guess like you would use those for some pro like the professional ones like the yeah what, what like the drones you need a license for. This is only like an eight. This only records in HD. Other drones would yeah. probably record in something like four K, five K, or even getting into those cinematic drones that would even record in eight K. Yeah, like the ones they use for movies and stuff. Like yeah, that. like those um, DJI drones, I think it's the Inspire series. They, I think, uh, don't quote me on this, but they probably record in like a high resolution, like 8K. I'm not sure exactly, but that would use a lot of storage. Yeah. But so yeah, but this is a pretty old um, micro SD card. So getting back to the point here. If you just want to have fun, this is perfect. You don't really need it. So a the drone, machine. yeah. So the drone actually over here has a, um, hold on one second, actually has a port for a micro SD card right here where you insert it. Um, so yeah, right there, uh, it actually has a port where you can insert the micro SD card and you'll hear a little click once it um, goes in. And yeah, so that's so, um, when you press record on the app to control the drone, we'll actually show that in a bit. Yeah. Um, It'll record on the micro SD card, but also it'll transmit the footage to the phone as well that you're recording on, and you'll be able to play it back on the phone. And then once you're done flying the drone, um, you can take the micro SD card out, and you can actually put it in this adapter where it has a slot for the micro SD card, um, right here at the bottom. Yeah, like there's a little slot there. And then you can um, put this in your computer, and you can also play back the files over there, where yeah. you can do whatever you want with them. So yeah, so this is just a regular like uh, USB stick, uh, pretty normal. So this would plug into almost any USB port. So that's it on the micro SD card. So yeah, also if you're wondering what this thing is, it's just an adapter. So if you don't, so if you don't have one of these, like or. I, for, for whatever reason you don't have one of these, you can just use this too if you have a micro SD, sorry, not a micro SD card. If you have a regular SD card slot, you can just use one of these where you can insert the micro SD card into it and it would um, still work the same way. By the way, this is a Motorola micro SD card adapter, not sponsored. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, one last thing about the drone 
is that sadly it does not come with any blade guards so you can't use blade guards on this like it looks like there's like this little piece but no you can't attach blade guards to this yeah unfortunately no blade guards come with the drone in um like sort like in the box and also you can't buy any aftermarket blade guards yeah that might be a huge factor in some of your decisions if you wanted to buy this drone especially for beginners if um you you need blade guards if yeah for like beginners it's it's important it really helps like yeah, um, also like, these blades are pretty thin as well so also, if you crash they may crack yeah like uh this drone we've played with it so like there's no blade guard so some of the uh, like propellers are a little bit cracked yeah so that's one that i mean that's only if you crash it but it's yeah. still safe it's, you know, it's safer just, it's blade just better if you had blade guards it looks it's look it looks like there's Something for blade guards here, but no, that's yeah. just the design, I guess, or something. Unfortunately, we do not have access to a phone right now with the um, app installed. So, um, however, we will just show you um, a couple of screenshots in a few seconds of the app itself. So, um, be, yeah, so uh, it'll come up right about now. So guys, in conclusion, the drone is pretty good. It's worth paying the price. And yeah, it has like pretty good features. Like the remote also comes with the phone like thing. And yeah. So yeah, some pros and cons are that this drone is very lightweight. It's very efficient. It's perfect for beginners because it's very easy to control. But the How only downside for beginners is that there's no blade guards. Yeah, there are really no blade guards. guards. And also I would say that it would be... um better if they if the manufacturer could include a micro SD card in the package yeah that would be much easier for some um, if you wanted to record videos like right on the go instead of having to use a micro SD card for yeah. something else so otherwise the drone is perfect for the price um, perfect for beginners and intermediate users alike it's around fifty dollars in the US yeah and, and like se around seventy dollars in 75 uh, yeah like 75 ish in, in Canadian dollars yeah, yeah. All right, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you uh, hope you subscribe. Uh, please, uh, please, uh, uh, like, yeah, uh, just like the video. Yeah, just uh, yeah, you please know, like you the video helps helps us with helps us with, helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And yep. um, yeah, please uh, leave a comment down below. In fact, my name's Rhythm. <laughs> algorithm. Nice. <laughs> okay, whatever. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.